Welcome to Getting Out, the podcast with your hosts, Carmine and Jesse. All right, that's it. Hello, everybody. How we doing? My friend, my friend. All right, so uh, welcome to Getting Out, the podcast. Yeah, with uh, your host, me, Jesse, and my friend across from me, Carmine. That is I. Yeah, that, that's him that's right there. Um, yeah, because before, last episode, I didn't even bother to say who each of us are. So, people so are like, all right, at some point, we're going to have to get into, like, a deep discussion of we'll get how there. we we'll get there. got to where we are today. Yeah, why you even want to listen to us, you know? But, why we're doing but this. I think you want to listen to us because you just want to hear someone else's opinion. Someone, and especially just... Two regular dudes, you know. I mean, you hear that all the time, but like, really, two dudes that are in the grind every day. Yeah, we're doing the same shit that the viewers at home are doing. Yeah, you know, we're working, grinding, we're working, working, we're working, hustling. Yeah, on a daily basis, we're working, we're dealing with the family stress, dealing with regular goings, goings on, zings, and amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, right? absolutely. So, like, it's a lot going on. Well. In the the wedding. So we were talking about yes, the wedding too. Yes. So, well, like I, my question is like, what is? I, believe it or not, I have many friends, but I haven't been to many weddings. I've been to my brothers, you know. Yeah. What is? It, and I didn't. How much do you bring? How much do you have to pay? Is it? How much ahead is it? You know what? <sighs> Depending on the venue and their pricing, you know. Like, does you, it say listen, on the, the, the invitation that you get? Like, no. Each listen. Each plate. The price of those plates will eventually come up somewhere along the way during the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> so let's be real. That's what I'm saying. So like, you, go, they sneak you know, it, I, you sneak I, something like that in? I, like, listen, I don't get that. It, it always comes out how much. Oh, well, you can find. I'm pretty sure you can find out somehow if you wanted to. Call the venue. Like, I'm, there's, there's things you could do to find out. But I would, what, I would figure out somehow along the way because somebody has the number somewhere. Yeah. Like, I, wedding I party, somebody's got it. So you figure out how much each plate is, and then I throw a little extra. And whatever, you know, it's but it, but you know, it's just expensive. Like these people get married. I think they're not these people that I know, <laughs> not them. But ah. just like everyone getting married right now is their arm and a leg. Yeah, for plates. I know. Alone, like I know, and that is no joke. Inflation's a bitch. Like I know people that are hustling. Uh, just to pay for their wedding, I'm like, yo, good for you. But at the same time, like, yeah, I know. I'd rather just they buy also, a car. But at the same I'd time, they also know they're getting some of that back True. when you're having a wedding. Of you know, course, you're getting of course, some of that back. Then you know, they like certain people are giving more than other parents. Forget it. Like, they're they're making back tenfold, I believe, because you know. Yeah, I, if you the parties are paid for, like, like 100, you know, what, 100, 200 bucks, you, you yeah. know, I think, I figure I mean, dude, that's, gets, yeah, that's especially then if you figure family too is going to give me more than that. That's just absolutely no, right. Yeah, if you're, and, if you're bringing don't, someone, and then you make a wish list, right? Don't you make a wish list on a yeah, certain have, website that you want, or is that like whole, a baby shower thing? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not, obviously, I'm not getting married, you could tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't know. I like they have, yeah, they have like parties, like what then people bring gifts and money and. The whole way along, which is nice because yeah, they like for the certain for the spots, group, super expensive for like, the bachelor party, right? Like, did you like were there gifts exchanged? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, did like as a groomsman, did you did the main groomsman drinks, get everybody like I a mean like you know thing to commiser- commiserate commiserate commit commit whatever commit I know, commit, I know, what you, I don't, mean. you know what I'm saying? So you know, along the, the bachelor parties like are pretty much paid for. Like the the usually the grooms will pay for their flights or whatever. Like yeah, you know, so their was that like a stuff, gift exchange? But not really. Not nah. you buy them drinks and yeah, it's like just a good time. food and yeah, whatever. You know, <laughs> we if weed who who yeah, smoking? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. drinks, drinks are like yeah. all the guys pay for the, all the drinks and like they barely. You know the the grooms usually don't. Which they yeah, should, absolutely. They're paying for the wedding, so like yeah. you know it's it's a thing. It's a thing, but. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather just buy a house in that case. If I had yeah, that money. a lot of planning. Listen, I, guess the, but I guess a girl was like, would want to do something like that. Of course. Well, you know, it's it's for the girl. It's for the girl. But, but do you theory. think that women think like that anymore even nowadays? Like, oh, uh, do you think women grow up nowadays and plan their dream wedding still? I Yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah. You think I, so? I think you're off on that one. Maybe I am. Yeah, they do. They've been waiting for this day of their because life. Because we were are just talking about something like that, too. Because men are the one mostly now that are trying to get married and settle down when women, I think, are really... All right. The, the, the word on the street is that. The word on the street. <laughs> well, we, we'll put it that. Yeah, we don't fucking Is know. that, like, more men these days are, like, trying to settle down and, like, find their, 
you know, true love their person. Yeah, I believe that. And women are kind of like just bouncing off from guy to guy these days, which I said to you before, we've created that as men. Yeah, Because absolutely. we were the ones doing that. But it's there. I don't know. To me, it's we different. We 100% created Like, yo, that men and women are different. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, men, and men always will be. Less, That's the whole like, less fight numbers when you get into gender and, and, sex. and girls are like, yeah, I guess if he like gets a lot of girls, then I'm going to be the, the one. Yeah. You know? But like guys are like, yeah, whatever. I'm just fucking and going along with it. Like, so we've created that system of women now doing that to us. Yeah, I believe you know, yeah, I agree. It's, I'm t- it's a thing. I I've agree. seen it firsthand. Yeah, but man, it's, it's, hey, it is what it is. I, you know. I know. I feel like the men kind of devolved into being the women of today's society. They are definitely less masculine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, um, it, maybe it's in the food. It, that could be another argument. You know, with all the I believe preservatives it. and all that Everything. other bullshit. They say it's lowering testosterone and lowering. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I believe that too. I, I mean, you know, I mean, look at me. I'm a fat fuck. I, I the <laughs> shit that I eat, I know affects my body differently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's still, and it's, it's. I've been through a heroin addiction. You know, I've been through my struggles uh, as many people, and you have been as well. Um, as we all, go and through. I think that's even a struggle too. It's yeah. crazy, like that. It's become it's an addictive fucking thing. I I stopped eating fast food for months, and I ate it one time, and the next I felt like shit, and the next day I wanted it again though. It was like, are you like it's disgusting? I haven't had McDonald's in like four. Bro, years. it's disgusting. I, I can't eat it. It's I look at this point. If I eat it, my stomach like. And I used to eat what I would go out to dinner with friends. Like we'd all eat the same thing. Everyone would be sick. I wouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Me and Pete, one of my best friends, we mm-hmm. used to go to McDonald's and, and go like Big Mac for Big mm-hmm. Mac, two each, scarfing them down. Ugh. I can't do that anymore. Can't do it my anymore. stomach's like no. The next day you feel it. Yeah, you course. feel it. And when you start Oil noticing, much, when you start noticing, when you grow up, when you get older, you start noticing that actually shit that does affect your body because I didn't. Nothing affected me when I was young. I believe the good old uh, days. Yeah, I the good old I could days. wake up after doing a night of the most crazy drugs and wake up the next day and feel like let's do it again. Yeah. To, yeah. Now it would be I think I'd be out of commission for like a week if I, I went would out. Say. I yeah. haven't had a drink in like eight years. I don't think that if I went out and well, hold like, on. you haven't had a drink in eight years. I haven't gotten drunk in eight years. You like I think I've had a sip years. of alcohol here and there, but really, I haven't gotten legit drunk in eight years i wouldn't have guessed that yeah crazy right i wouldn't have guessed I smoke that. weed every day we're not saying you're like a degenerate yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no no i, I get it yeah I no know. absolutely i'm not we used, I, we used to get drunk back in yeah the day. i know we used to drink all the time but that but never happened at, at parties you know it was Mom. a party thing but it was always if you noticed i was always the one that was smoking six or seven once in between that you is know? true yeah. absolutely you, you know or i'll be, or I'll know be taking a, like a, when in high school days a xanax or a percocet when like it started off and i'd just be Running around that like, I, but it wouldn't even affect me. Nowadays, I'm I'm afraid. Like, I'm afraid to to even mix and to like because I stopped taking my antidepressant too because I'm like this shit's crazy. The drugs that I they give me, bro. When I found None out that the two drugs that I'm taking together like are like deadly, like and you shouldn't be taking them, and my doctor had no fucking that's idea. a problem. That's a little crazy. That's when we uh, that's a court. He, well, Carmine <laughs> was here with me earlier, and me and my mom were having a discussion about medications and stuff. And we got into a little heated argument because the thing is, like, she says, just ask your doctor. But my doctor doesn't doesn't. It's like an in and out thing. When's the last time you really your doctor really came in? You sat down and like really told him what the fuck was going on. You know, like this is happening, this and he actually ran tests and whatnot. And they they just wrote me like depression and anxiety medication, like right off the rip. They didn't ask me questions. Not for nothing. They should know medications that should not be. Bro, I was like a I was like like a uh, a test dummy to them. Really, like they when it started off, the way I started even taking medication was uh. They sent me to rehab when I was when I was on drug court, right? So the first time I, like, I ever really went to rehab, rehab. Yeah. And they sent me to a six month program, right? Like a lot, like I was. This, Which that's what it should. Yeah, be. that's At what I agree. Months. I don't believe. I think yeah. anything under three months is unnecessary, yeah. and it's not going to work unless you have it. Waste. It's a waste. If it's like alcohol or or um. And like alcohol or really that's about it like a 30 day thing you and because alcohol when someone really goes to to detox from alcohol and they want to stop they're going to stop well that's with anything of course. if you want to stop you're going to well, you, you'll get you to know? a certain point yeah. where 
you have to make the decision for that you yourself. Stop. Absolutely. Yeah. It has to it's be for that, yourself. It happens all the time. So when I first like, went into a long-term program, this doctor just sat down with me and said, listen, maybe the reason that you're using drugs is because you got something messed up in your brain. Like, and he started asking me questions like, uh, do you get agitated a lot? Um, yes. Um, do you like you've been starting? I was causing a lot of problems in the rehab. Like I was a menace. Like my PO had to come. My menace. PO had to come and tell me like, listen, if I keep doing the shit that I'm doing, I wasn't getting high or doing stupid. Like I was locked in. Like basically, it was like a shutdown program. Yeah. It was the last. I forget what they call it. And if someone I know someone watching who's definitely gonna remember what this is. It's like a C. It's one of the last. They don't do these rehabs anymore. It was like Damon House used to be one. Um, there was a couple ones, but it was like a, a TL, TCL or something like that. And it was a strict, strict rehab program. Like you lived there, you had a dress, suit, and tie. Um, yeah, they cleaned you up. Yeah, they like they made sure up. you were clean shaven, yeah, yeah. you know, everything. And they don't have these rehabs where you couldn't bring your MP3 player, like no music. No that was sir. quality. Quality, and that's yeah. really honestly, I believe that those rehabs kind of they, they they helped, but the to the extreme that they were doing it, no. But yeah, why, the why would things, they not continue that and like improve on that? Because is this question. is the thing that this is what Too started happening. What? All right, now like, listen, now now on. listen. So now the rehab that I was in. So let, let's veer off of besides the medication part, right? So the reason that they stopped doing that was because they had people that were there for drug court and that were state issue that were the state was paying for them. So they had contracts at, out through um, with the probation department of all these certain townships, right? right? And the state will pay them X amount of money. So they get X amount of money per person that's there. But there are also people that are getting, that are being paid by insurance, like that are getting bigger bucks. Like I'm talking about 50, 60 grand a person. And you're talking about ten grand a day to be in a rehab, Imagine. and those people oh were pissed that they weren't getting the privilege. Like, listen, I'm paying top dollar to be yeah. here. I'm not able to order out food. I'm not. Like, you go to California, to, but yeah, at, at the same time, you're at a rehab though. And then so, the, so the counselors, it was a kind what, of what, a, whatever keeps you away from what you were doing before you got to rehab. Fine. Like, unfortunately, people go right to food. And yeah. they, they gain weight or they just... Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. But the, the, the thing is, the counselors there, too, were... They're, now they're upset because, like, like what we were just getting into an argument about is, yes, yeah, should they really have that benefit? You're there for a rehab, regardless if you're paying for it or not. We're there to clean your ass up, yeah. to make you... To build you up from the bottom. They have to destroy you. Literally, that's what their whole pro, their whole they idea break was. You down, they break you break down, you down, make you feel like shit, and they make you so, realize who really who... Why... You deserve a better life for yourself, right. basically, because most people, most addicts, don't think they deserve it, yeah, and yeah. they're self sabotaging. Yeah, they're, they're my whole die life. Like just... My whole life, I've self sabotaged. You know, all the, all the opportunities. Well, it's all coming out now. Absolutely, and that's why I wanted to talk about. it. That's why I wanted to yeah, do this as, too, and, as you should. Because there's a lot of shit that I hear that that I want to get out too that a lot of people don't know about, like about the jail systems and about all like what we're talking about now. So my the medication, back to the medication. So he just started. Asking me all these questions, and through questions, he came up with a, with a theory in his head that maybe I am bipolar. Okay. Um, I have anxiety and depression. Anxiety, I was I just beginning to know what that is. Go hand in hand. Yes, I was yeah. just beginning to know what anxiety. But ab actually, as I grow older now, I, anxiety and depression, I don't think do anxiety is like that feeling that like like we had like you saw me last week like he came yeah. over we were supposed to shoot i had a panic attack literally broke down started like, sweating sweating go, yeah, yeah like uh, that i yeah. had a panic attack like all the shit about the work everything just caught up to me i'm on i'm on uh almost done with uh isp um so you know i'm not oh i'm not it's still on my shoulders yeah so i have a lot of shit that, that comes comes crashing down uh, sometimes you know and i and so I think anxiety is that like pending doom and the depression is like, is it's doomed. You get what I'm saying? Like you're, Oh, you're there. You're like, depression is, is you feel like shit. Anxiety is like that. Oh, you, something's about to happen. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I just, I just feel as though in a lot of cases, like the more anxious you are, the higher you are to get to like higher, the chances of oh, you yeah. getting to depression. Oh, absolutely. Why I say it's yeah, hand hand. Hand. Yeah, like, yeah, I get it. Like it's, I never knew what anxiety was. Like, I went through depression, but I didn't know really ever what anxiety was once in a while, maybe like a little bit. But I, people be like, I'm anxious. I'm like, what does that feel like? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I never went really through it. 
But I did go through depression without a question for that. Yeah. And that's tough. Yeah, that depression is a hard you, thing to get out of. It's not easy. Mm-hmm, which is why people go to medication and, and it gets SSRIs worse. and, you know. So now I get labeled with bipolar, right? So now they, yeah, bro, he had me convinced. He had me convinced you for the bipolar. longest time yeah. that I was, that I was all, excuse me, that I was all these things. That I was bipolar, that I was, um, I don't know. Yeah, he just had me convinced of a lot of shit that I didn't think that I was, but. I was like, all right, yeah, I guess so. Maybe, I guess. I guess. What, and I, and I start, he started me on, like, first I did, like, Lexapro. That shit had my jaw. Uh, my jaw was, like, clenched. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Nuts. Like, ridiculous. Then I tried um, Wellbutrin I did. Yeah, Wellbutrin's a popular one. But Wellbutrin, actually, believe it or not, that helped me stop smoking cigarettes. Like, was I, when I was taking that, I cut down on this, my cigarette smoking, which is actually... A you just another didn't want it? no, like, that's another pres- prescribed. Re- what they pres- they prescribe that medication for anxiety and depression, also uh, cigarette dependency. Yeah. So it makes that's you crazy. get yeah. I didn't when know you, that. Like you get like this nauseous feeling when you smoke one. It's right. really weird. That's yeah. Well, Butrin will do that to you. I tried that. Then recently, I was on Effexor, and Haven't when I it. all right, so I was on that for the three years, and I was on in prison. I was oh, I was good in prison. I I, I thought I was. Until you always think until you are, when until... you switch a prison and then your medication isn't there that day and then it's not there the next day and then the day after that and you have serious withdrawal. I've been through heroin withdrawal before and this was it was it was close. And heroin withdrawal was like one of the worst things that I've ever been through in my life. But it sounds like it because like, the heroin I've... withdrawal was a good two two years. Like I'm not just talking about the three to seven days. Withdrawal. I'm talking about the acute, the post-acute withdrawal afterwards, right. like feeling like shit. You'll feel the that. depression. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Because your whole brain is fucked it's up. It's all I'm coming down. Taking the, those serotonin yeah. boosts that you're, or whatever you're, what, the, what's yeah, the, the whatever. Right. Yeah, the, the, it, I'm talking about whatever heroin does, whatever it's serotonin. Oh, yeah, boosts, yeah, yeah, okay. Your yeah, dopamine yeah, or yep, whatever the fuck yep. it does. You're getting so much of that all the time that when you don't have it, your it's brain crashed. is yeah, yeah. going nuts. Yeah. It's like ecstasy, taking ecstasy that like in the, uh, the night, uh, like the night before the day after you're going to feel like garbage. Of course. Just because of that, it's not there. Your it's brain is yeah. shit out of you and you're like, yeah. Yeah. So when I realized that if I don't have that, I'm going to be in withdrawal and I'm not taking medication so that I can go through withdrawal again. It just didn't make any sense. So now I'm thinking, I like, I why am I, I even like taking these. this? Let me let let's put him on medication instead of what he was already taking. Like I don't like the dependency. Yeah, I, no. I will not. I don't want to use anything that like I'm. I want to be able to get off. Dependent. Of yeah. Like, I don't. I don't want nothing. I want to be able no pills. to I don't get want off of it. You get yeah. what I'm saying? I want. Yeah. I want to be able to get off of it. Well, and the SSRIs, you have to like wean yourself off. Yes, I had uh, to. With this. That's yeah, because yeah. I knew that, and I think that one of the panic attack, the panic attack I had when. You were here last week. Yeah. I think that that was part of it, was me not taking it. Remember, you were like, what did you take? T- Jess, did you take anything? And I'm like, I think it was what I didn't take, you know, yeah, what I didn't yeah. take. Because Carmine knows me well, you know, very well. I do stupid shit. And, but he's, <laughs> that's why he, on your face too, was like, you didn't think so because I haven't been doing stupid shit in a very long time. I'm not that person anymore. You don't see, yeah, so not, you were like, what did you person. take, Jesse? Like, what the, like, yeah. that doesn't make any well, sense. I mean, that was, that's the first, yeah, like, yeah, what, any know, point, yeah, what, first question, what, first question, you, what, you, what right? did you take? And it was, or what, what, like, like, what didn't you take? It could be a real thing too. It was that, or it was, did you eat today? Yeah, and then we That's found my out too. Thing. I didn't like, eat and what I didn't do today because I was like sweating before. Oh yeah, you had the same almost thing. I just I ate fruit this morning and just didn't really eat after that. But yeah. my blood sugar has been fine. I went, I like stopped at Panera, got like a little sugary drink, but mm-hmm. like just to keep it level. But I should have eaten something. With, yeah, you know, it's all right. I had to, but we it learn. is what it is. We live and we learn, my friend. Every day, if you ain't learning, yeah. you're dead. Ugh. Bro, that, that don't can't teach an old dog new tricks. Shit. Get the I, fuck don't out of here. I don't believe that. I don't believe Honestly, I don't believe that. My my dog, my current dog all. is. I used to be a learning f- a lot, and he's older. Firm believer <laughs> of you can't change, and like you know, you are who you are, and that is completely wrong. Yeah, you know, I've witnessed it within myself, and I think we talked about this last episode. I, there's so much in us that we don't know. You know that you think that we're constantly learning. Yeah, I, I, I learn shit in every. Every day, you have every to. day, but yeah, but that's but that whole medication thing, man. It's like it's it's just uh, I'm happy that I'm finally just like all right, I'm starting from scratch. You're good, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. starting from scratch. Let's start with the natural shit first. 
You know, let's see. It's probably the best shit you can take. That's what I'm saying. Let's you start know? with the, the natural shit. Let's start with the vitamins. Let's start with, you know, eating right. Maybe that that could be the whole. That is without a doubt. 100%. Without look at a me. doubt. Of course like, it is. 100%. You know, and it's hard to get back there. And, I, and I've been. Bo- I'm so I'm a su- my weight always fluctuates. I'm always crazy. I've Remember seen last you super time? Thin and super thin, super thin, huge. Big. Yeah, big. I'm big. bigger than this. Yeah. Bigger than this. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think when you first got out, was the biggest I've been. Was yeah. the biggest I've. Yeah. And I like like I said, I was probably sitting on my ass in a cell lifting. all day. I know. I, mean, I, I would have. Like you should have been. You should have been. Wouldn't at the at. The, I look back at it now. I'm like, damn, yeah. Do I wish I? Of course, I wish I took care of myself better in there. Absolutely. But the state of mind that I was into. Yeah, you weren't. Right. Well, I wasn't right. But right. the I, 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 I had to do this. If I didn't do this, if I turned in, if I did that, I don't think we'd be sitting here today. You get what I'm saying? These yeah, true. books has learning you ascend. Yeah, yeah, yeah to I where it. I yeah. am right now. I get it. And like, it's full circle because. Bro, we started the podcast, which was crazy. The first episode, we started the day that my best friend passed away, Bernie. Bernie McGrath. Yeah, my one my of my man. My here's a good one. Here's a good one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and you were always, you guys were always together. Always. He's a good man. My best miss friend. Bernie. Um, miss him to death. But uh, yeah, it was the anniversary of his death. Um, and he's the one who showed me podcasts. Um, this American Life, and that was when podcasts were when. like. Like media journals, uh, serial. I don't know if you know the podcast serial. There was um, about this high school kid that got accused of murdering his high school sweetheart. Um, he was a Arab, I think, an Arab kid or a Muslim kid, and it was during that whole time of nine eleven and all that okay. uh, that shit. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They say that he murdered this girl when it was there's so many loopholes, and she walks you through it. And that was one of the first. Ever really really big podcast? Podcast, yep. It was serial, and um, Bernie would be listening to yeah, something. Yeah, Bernie like that. got me like, into. Yeah, we'd be sli- like at night, at least just listening. It would freak you out. Like yeah. such a cool medium, just audio and and now podcast is like podcast is not even conversation. Really, yeah, yeah. It's now it's now so it's much. audio and video. Yeah, it yeah. could be anything yeah. a podcast now. And yeah. I, I when I was There's what when I was it was crazy too. When I was eighteen, so when I was sixteen, I started interning. Uh, for a company on Wall Street called Locate Stock, right? And they shorted stocks. Um, okay. And I was an intern there, and he was the financial advisor on Will Cavuto, which is like a Fox 5 show okay. about, fi- about Wall Street and whatnot. And he would come on and do like the analytics for the stocks, and he loved being on TV. And this was back in, what, 2006. So he had this idea, like, Let's start a website and I'll do a morning show on my own. Like I'll make my own uh, TV channel basically with a website and do webcasts. So uh, he had his own website. It was called Uba TV and he was doing that in Jersey city. And then that was that one summer. Then the next summer he moved his building on to actual like right next to wall street, which was broad street. And he he opened a company called Uba TV. He was downstairs, upstairs. Uba TV. Uba U B A T V. Uba TV. Such a Brooklyn thing, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn, so he and he opened upstairs was Locate Stock. So when I came in for the interview too, right to like see where I was at because I was coming back from college, or no, this was my yeah. I think I was the first. It was the second year. So I came back, and he's like, "Listen, so upstairs is going to be Locate Stock." You could take your, I'll teach, we'll take you, uh, do your courses for your series seven so you can get your license, yeah, nice. all that stuff. And I'm like, uh, that, good money, you know, but I'm, yeah, money. but you know, at the time I'm going in school for music, I'm in the band for Pete's sake, all that stuff. You're more passionate, more about, passionate music about music than, than, than anything, anything else. else. And he goes, but I know you're going to school for audio, audio engineering downstairs. I'm starting uh, a webcasting stuff it's called Uba TV. Um, I got Reverend Al Sharpton, uh, Curtis Sliwa, which is like part of the Guardian Angels. Yep. Back, you know of who course. I'm talking about? Yep. Staten yep. Island and shit. Um, he had the real Sugar Hill Gang, which they have to call the him. They have to say the reals because Sony owns the rights to Sugar Hill Gang. So they have How to. How do you know that? Bro, because <laughs> I worked with them crazy. That's, crazy. That's a story I'll get into too. Um, but yeah, so he goes, I got all these people. And then his name is John Tobacco. John and tobacco. the girl and his his uh, secretary was Joey Coffee, so she was his co-host. That he was the host. That it was called Coffee and Tobacco in the Morning, 
Great fucking name. That's a great name. And I think he's still got it. I think the show's like still yeah, running. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and Richard Bay. We, we had Richard Bay. Up. Bro, I have I'm still up, boys with Richard Bay and the Sugar Hill Gang. Richard Bay is friends with him on Facebook. I actually asked him if he wanted to come on the podcast. He's like, oh, Should just let me know. Yeah. You know, we'll get it. Well, yeah. we gotta figure that out. Cause he's right, he's in New York. He's right down there. And Jerry Springer yeah. just passed away. No. All right. Richard Bay. If anyone doesn't know, Richard Bay is the first Jerry Springer show. So before Jerry Springer show, did he did his thing with all that crazy shit with yeah. the girls showing, yep, you know, yep. like wet t-shirt contest, had midgets on stage, all that crazy shit. That was Richard Bay first. So Richard Bay did that, and Jerry Springer when was, was the that? next. That was when our pa- our parents early, like eighties, like, yeah, what, what, uh, early eighties, like, early nineties, yeah. maybe or mid nineties. I'm thinking, yeah. So uh, he's like, do you want to work downstairs or work upstairs? And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Hell yeah, I want to work downstairs. I was the head audio engineer at Uber TV at 18 years old. Yeah, how, did, how did you actually get that, though? Like, it just, show, just like, showed up, man. See, because I know my family, obviously. Peter, you know, Peter yeah, got me the internship. Yeah. My brother got me the internship there. The man. Yeah, the, 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 girl, man. The, the man, the myth of the legend. Yep. You know, and he's also got the everything going on with... He's still on Wall Street. Um, But... uh. Yeah, he got me into that, and the next year he knows he he knew that my capabilities. I show up, I show up, showed up every day. Yeah, um, I was always about music, battle. and I was always in that back room with him doing the show right. when he was on Jersey City. And I loved, I loved watching it. I loved giving him a hint, like ideas and all this stuff. And he's like, "Why don't you help me work downstairs?" So I made the the music for it like their morning shows i would make the music for their morning shows yeah, so i'd mic all the, right the all the all the talent that would come i would mic them up and all that stuff so yeah. i was doing this shit way back when you know and which is crazy to see what podcasts evolve to now and back to the sugar hill gang thing they call themselves the real sugar hill gang i found out i used to eat lunch with them all the time was that they were young when they got signed to sony sony uh sony signed them i think when they were like 16 and they're from the hood uh, they just trying to make some money and get out, yep. you know, get out. So they said they just wanted to get out of there, and they signed the first contract. Came to them, they didn't have lawyers, nothing. They and said, "Sign it, sign it." And blow. Sony owned the rights to the name Sugar Hill oh, Gang. Shit. Owned all the songs. Every bro, they own everything. everything. Yeah, yeah. They have nothing left. They have a band. Sony tour puts a, like a tribute band together. It's called the. Uh, the Sugar Hill Gang, and they tour as if they're the real thing. Get out of here. So they have to call themselves the real Sugar the Hill Gang. The real Sugar Hill Wonder Hill. Mike, Master G, all of them, yeah. I, it was crazy. You know what was funny, too, that they talked That's about? That's criminal. <laughs> That's criminal. <laughs> like, how dare you? And, <laughs> you know, they, they, like, they, they, they went off when they first Yo, started. Like, they, they're the they went off. fucking legends, the bro. OGs. They're legends. The they're the first rappers. to do it. Like, yeah. Like, Come imagine. on! It's crazy. That's crazy that and a business you know what else? Would do such a let to people like that that started a genre. You yeah. would, you would, yeah. you would do that to such. I don't know. Listen, business is business, and unfortunately, Sad. in that industry too, things happen that you know Sad, are man. disrespectful. <laughs> That's disrespectful to me. It's like, extremely disrespectful. And and how far we've come in rap in general compared to that. You listen to that. You listen to now. It's like. Yeah, what? What happened? No, nah, 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 what happened, but like, yeah, what happened? Yeah. Like, how, how did it far get here? we've come. How did it get yeah, over Yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. But like, yo, th- there are songs today, like rap songs today that I hear that I'm like, right, You sent like, me some good I know, I, I, I kind of like, I'm, 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 I'm wrong with the times. No, right? and if it sounds shit. good, I'm with it. Like, it that dude, Toby, what, what's that know. dude's name? Toby Neweby? Yeah, I, I can't say his last that's name. That's my, New- when I saw I him, he's on that show. What's that he's show? Great. What's that show that yeah, he's on? Yeah, he, he did start a show. I forgot what it was. I, oh, he's I the side, he's the side dude. He's the second, he's, oh, it's so good. It was so good. I, I noticed him from the video because you showed me that video all the time yeah. with the girl braiding his yep, hair yep. while he raps. And he's a savage. That was a good one, too. Bro, he kills he, it. He does better that was than the, the, That was the Kodak. Kodak. He yeah. killed Kodak. He killed it. Listen to that. If you ever heard that shit, go. It's called Toby Nuigi. Yeah, you got N G I. I can't. Like, There's fucking. I, hold on, I can't. I can't. That shit's good. I think I found that on like Instagram. I don't know how you found it, but then he showed I'm up on sure a TV it. show yeah. out of nowhere, which was crazy. I, and he, I texted he you right away. Yeah, I think he posted like that. I was like, "Who is this dude?" I, I came up. I don't know. I guess whatever, whatever the al- algorithm was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, he came up and I was like, "This dude's fire." Yeah, it's just I knew you would like that too. Yeah, it's like, just it's just, he never yeah. forgot it. Never <laughs> forgot it. Uh, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, yeah, but uh, he's like, and he's blown up. He's blown like good for him. See, that's Gotta good. Finally, some good music is getting blown up. Like they're bringing yeah. back some other shit too, like uh, some rock and roll band, like uh, Greta Van Fleet. 
fuck with Greta Van yeah. Fleet. Heavy. Yeah. They remind me. It sounds like he's uh sounds like he's the lead singer of fucking Led Zeppelin. Sounds amazing. Yeah. He's ama- amazing. Which to sound like that. Yeah, and my mom even for, thought you I'm be playing I'm playing one of their songs in my car, right? Don't say anything to my mom. She's like, I love them when it's over. I'm like, We love who? Because this is an eighteen year old band. She doesn't know who the fuck this is. Yeah. She's like, Led Zeppelin, I love them. I'm like, Mom, that was Greta uh, Van Fleet. She's like, get the fuck. Sounds like I know, I know. Crazy. When I heard that I was at a party, I was, bro, I was tripping balls. It was years ago. <laughs> That's always how yeah. these stories start. <laughs> they don't start any other way. Like, <laughs> but I no, was tripping it balls. was years ago. So like, I'm the and and the group of friends that I'm with, we just went to like a like a um, one of these jam bands. I don't know if you know who Mo is Monkeys on Ecstasy. Fire. It's like the Almond Brothers. They're like the okay. Almond Brothers, right. and uh, I don't think they just them. jam all. The whole set is like them jamming and a couple like choruses thrown in. It, it, just literally everyone's just tripping uh, or on ecstasy and just grooving. That's the whole thing. It's 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 a lot of fun, bro. People thing there, it's right up your alley. People there are amazing. And then like, <laughs> yeah. afterwards, we had they're like, oh, come back to my house. So my boy invited me back to one of his friends' house, and we're just sitting there, and he's going through like live. Um, he's talking about how most people don't know it, but uh, um, Parliament Funk is one of the first jam bands and they have like a little metal in them too. I'm like, get Parliament Funk? I'm like, what are you talking about? When no were they, way. Like, he's like, I was like, when were you they metal? He's like, bro, you don't listen to it? And he's like, and he's cool. So I was like, bro, really? Come on, man. I gotta show you. And put on the Mothership live concert and I can't play it now. It's like two hours long. Bro, it is mind blowing. It is back when like the race war was at its peak. Yeah. And it's in. They're playing it in fucking Texas, in the middle of like one of the worstest, ra- like the racist, worstest, one worstest of the ra- <laughs> one of the racist states in in the country, yeah. right? And at the peak of its the race war, and you got these thirteen, fourteen black men and women jamming, playing funk music, loving it in like girl outfits and like this is back. They're dressed crazy, bro. Yeah. Like aliens, and they're coming out of a spaceship, and they're j- and everyone. Not a gun was shot. Not everyone was chilling, jamming, yeah, yeah. bro, they're jamming. Maybe that um, that could be a false statement. That not a gun was shot. Maybe there was a murder. I don't. Know. <laughs> there might. I'm who just knows? Saying, I, listen, all I know during is that, that time, during that time for that to go on, and it was just crazy. And that concert, and he's showing it, showing me them like they're they're. The way that they're just making it up on the spot. Yeah, they're just going off, just off the rip. Yeah, yeah. And he shows me, and I'm like, how do you know that that's just riffing? And he's like, because you listen to it. He's like, I've listened to all their live shit. If you listen to previous concerts, that's not there. You know, that's just him riffing. Yeah. And I found out through me going to concerts, like, um, I forget one of the other ones that they're, what are the other ones they're called? But there's another band that I've went to that's like that too. And I found out that they wear earpieces, right? And... They jam for such long periods of time, and they feel it because they go on stage. They're drinking. They're just feeling yeah, yeah. which Whatever part. They're going, and yeah. they sign and talk through their through the earpieces. Oh, and if you pay extra money, you can pay to listen to them talk. Get an oh, earpiece shit. and listen yeah, to yeah, yeah. them talking and That's choreograph in their set. That's kind of wild, bro. And this was in like Asbury what? Park. I had no fucking idea that they did this at all. I forget the name of the fucking band. They oh, have um, a lot McGee's. Of... Umphrey McGee? Umphrey McGee? No yeah, idea. that's it. That's it. A lot of bands always are playing in Asbury. Bro, yeah, but it's the, a good you time You can tap over into what they're taught. Like, that's sick. It's that's sick. different. Absolutely. That that's is different. different. That's, yeah. That, I've never seen that before. Dollar, yeah, yeah. I've never seen or heard that before. That's great. That's great. But, um... Yeah, so yeah, crazy week, man. We got a lot of shit coming up. A lot of shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got a what, couple what? of things that I didn't talk to you about. That don't I be honest. To say. Do you still watch? Do you still fuck around with TV? I don't watch a lot of TV shows here and there. I don't listen. I don't really have the time. I don't have like, much. I don't I, listen. I, I, it's it, not really it, about the it, time it for me. If you're in, you're in. You got to be watching yeah. every night. See, it's not about the time I, for me. It's more about the enjoyment level of it. Really, it's like I, I, I don't, respect that. I don't have. Reading a book to me is so much more satisfying or listening to one and smoking a blunt or something like that than and imagining it than sitting and watching someone's interpretation of what someone's original idea was. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I also like the 
audio. I don't know love anyone who audio. does that. I you always did audio. that. Like you've you've been saying that for years. Like years. You've always and done. I can listen to I, the I great never, thing. I don't. I, I haven't done that since I'm like a kid with like. A great thing Batman, about it like, is that I can do multiple things while I'm, while I'm listening, and also I can speed up the audio if I want to. True. So now true. I'm listening to a book that's well, 15 that, hours long. Yo, I can if, dock if that. If you're down reading 10. the book and then you're listening to that too, like. You could be on the run, just yeah. listening, and then come back and like. That's exactly to read what the I book. do, and it's what's great too is that they give you the chapters and everything, so you could just automatically find what chapter you're on and start in a book if you want to. Yeah. So it's great. I go back and forth, that but is... the thing is, so um, I don't know. I just haven't really been able to get into TVs and movie shows. If you got something to recommend, please throw my way. I'm a big fucking send them TV and movie buff. Um, like I watched Midnight Mass on Netflix. That shit was dope. Dark. I have to watch the third season, so I have to rewatch the first and second. But there's this show that just came out. That's based on one of the books that I've been trying to read, and I just started it last night. But uh, Which, it's called what, it's yeah, called the book is, is called Wool, right? And it's Wool. this big sci-fi book, and it has I think it's a trilogy or five books. But Apple just made a show. Um, it's called Silo, bro. I think I've seen this around somewhere. It's only on its fourth episode so far. Okay, so that's also why I was like, "Fuck this! I want to read it because I want to know what the fuck's going on." Bro, I'm not a spoiler. Oh, the fuck oh, you want to talk about? If don't you're listening spoiled. to us, no. If you're listening to this shit, I'm gonna tell you about it. Don't want to listen to it. Fast forward, but I'm not gonna give you everything. It's only on episode four. I can't really. I can give tell you, you about much, the book, but, you, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. gonna give you what's gonna keep make you go there. Right, go I'm gonna give Let, you what's see. gonna make you like what the Drop fuck, it. bro. So these people are living in a post-apocalyptic world in this silo, right? That goes mad far underground. What it was originally built for, they don't know. But now that they live there, it's apparently something happened outside. The toxins are really bad to breathe, blah, 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 blah. They don't know. 150 years ago, there was an upheaval. And there hasn't been like a revolution since in this silo. But so, all right, besides that, I'm getting off. So in the cafeteria of this silo, in certain spots, there is a big ass screen that shows you what's going on outside. And it's desolate gray nothing's there right it seems like something that is eventually going to happen <laughs> like, so nothing nothing nothing's story. out there people will take because the silo is so deep but there's only the screens on the top two floors so people will make like treks journeys just to go up and see if maybe there's signs so, of life yeah, yeah. so you gotta understand there's, there's delivery men that go up and down the silo and whatnot so the one thing you cannot do is say you want to leave if you want to leave they will lock you up in a cell get you ready make a suit prepare a suit for you and they'll send you out there and you ain't coming back and the whole thing is they call it cleaning and the reason why it's called books called wool is because they use the wool this piece of wool to clean the camera lens so that people can see it because after a while the dust accumulates on the thing okay so this made the, the sheriff's wife this is the first episode she's like i'm going out and she goes out to clean she dies so he goes out to clean he years later he wants a follower he's like what the fuck's going on his wife was like one of the art like um she she dealt with all the history in the silo and shit like that. And she was uh, uh, one of the computer techs there. Okay. She found out that they had programs that to manipulate what's going on on the screen. You got to understand, these people don't even know what fucking technology is. Yeah. They don't know what pixels, pixels are. And he's talking about how the screen, and he learned that they're called pixels, but that they're out. That there's like a couple spots that are just white light. And he learned that the pixels burnt out. And his wife was telling him this and that they have uh, a program that can change what you're seeing. Of course, on the do. TV. Yeah, of course. The control. So, so the she. Control. So he said. So he goes out, right? And he. This is the beginning of the fucking book, bro. He goes out to like after his wife, and he sees green, all green, right? All fucking green. So he goes, and everyone's the big thing is. Everyone who leaves says that they're not going to clean. Like, fuck you. I'm not cleaning that lens. Like, fuck you guys. I'm leaving. Like, I'm just going and I'm leaving. I want to get out. But every single one of them goes and cleans the lens and they don't know why. So they have these like theories of why the fuck are people cleaning this lens? You know, if they say they're not going to, why do they always yeah, clean? What's it about? Wife like, said, I finally figured out. He said he goes, he, he goes and starts cleaning because it's green. He want maybe that the dust on the lens isn't showing the people inside. Like, you're not seeing this. This is green. So he they always clean the lens, okay. I guess. So that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's fucking now all of a sudden he's taking a few steps and he starts feeling in his breath that he can't breathe. And he starts realizing, oh shit, maybe it's the the helmet. And I only have air for a certain amount of time. They wouldn't give me more air than I needed. Because also you gotta understand that these the IT people who built him these these the suit, 
they're also testing their suits their to suits, see how long yeah. and what they could do. They put What's, sensors on it yeah. to see what the air is like out there and all this shit. So they're trying to build information as they send people out to clean as well. And so he's walking out. He starts getting all this fucking chest pain. He takes off his helmet, realizing that maybe it's his loss of, like, they didn't give him enough oxygen or whatnot. Takes off the helmet. When he takes off the helmet... It's fucking gray. Everything's gray. Back to like what the screen was showing on there. And he realizes that when he looks at his helmet, it was all wires and sensors. There was a fucking screen in his helmet showing, showing a fucking mm-hmm. fake landscape. Yeah. Like, cause he ran into a boulder that wasn't even on the screen. Yeah. There was more shit that I didn't say, obviously. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, bro, and then he just yeah, dies. Yeah. Shut up, PlayStation. Oh, sorry, my PlayStation just, just, and then he just but dies. And he just dies, and, and that's it. So then you're like, what the fuck? So what, what's going what's, on? What's, yeah, what's good? That's not weird, bro. That that's is crazy. Weird. That is and I'm weird. trying that's to wild, figure out like what's going out on. Now, like, just from that, because that's only, I'm going to say I'm chapter seven in the book, because after I saw the couple episodes, I'm like, I really got to fucking read this. I kind of want to watch the show Yeah, now. The show, actually, right. and now going from the book to the show, the show did a very, very good job for the book. You know what? On point. The shows do well these days. Yes, yeah, they, they, and they have big budgets. Like they do very well. But see the shows. Yeah, come like along. Stephen way. King. Stephen King books. A Stephen King book movie. Stephen King movies based off the books are great because he has some involvement in them. He, right. he knows what he's doing. He's done it. The a OG times. is there. But there's certain things that I watch, man, and they destroy it. Like there's a there's a Netflix show coming up um, about the three body problem. One of my all time. Favorite science fiction books, that and Children of Time, which we talk, I didn't tell you about Children of Time last I don't time. Think, no. But uh, what is it called? Yeah, their Netflix has been making a series for the longest time, and this is a Chinese dude who wrote the book, and it's it's trippy, man. Oh, yeah. It's really trippy because like it, it explains my whole thing. I love quantum physics, bro. I, I know love you do. quantum physics. You always I yeah. love because that it basically shows it's it's proof that. I don't even know what it's proof of. It's really, it's just that fact that we make reality, I guess. Is when you we look at it, when we look at it, uh, it's really just the light. Fo- everything's just light waves. And when we look at it, we make it into a solid structure. Just the act of observing. Yeah. And that's what quantum physics is. It's, being, it's observing like L, uh, particles and all that shit. Observing matter, whatever you want to fucking say. I'm not a scientist, but I just <laughs> love, I love it because in that book, Gives a reason why, because quantum physics basically says that when you when you're observing something, it knows it's being watched. Right. Yeah. Basically, yeah, okay. it, it's different. Something an element looks different when you're not looking at it compared to when you are looking at it. Basically, the small gist of it. Right. And he gives a reason why that's like it. Why that's like that for us. Yeah. He yeah. says that aliens are fucking up our ability. To get to the next level of technology because they're coming for us. Yeah. And we don't, if they're like, so like three or 4,000 years away or like three or 400 years away, that by the time they get there, they know our technology will be way too advanced for them and they'll, we'll demolish them. So they're sending shit to interfere with, <laughs> with our, our ability like, to, to get to the yeah, next level. Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, there's also other views of like Buddhism but, where yeah, people crazy. get to certain level, like they're. Oh, that's completely well, different. And, and, and do, yeah, but still, if you look, like people really are just amazing, like Olympians, like they, if you put enough time towards one certain. Oh you know, yeah, absolutely. You'll get like we really are just like uh, they say we have. We actually have like we are very strong. Like we we can be ten times stronger than we are right, we are right oh, now. Oh yeah, I believe that there's. But they're so trying much to keep unpacked. us at a level where, you know. But people are ascending these days. I'm telling you, people yeah. are just moving forward. They're improving every day. I know it's fucking crazy. Did like, you hear that? I'm watching people other, are on that wave these days. I'm like, watching videos that they're saying that there's more bones and that they're doing autopsies and shit of humans now, and that there's an extra. We have an extra nerve and an extra bone in our ankle like as we're evolving as creatures right now yeah i bet like it crazy I, yeah of course crazy like, I mean, we, we've got to i think that's why you're, you're i well that i think is because of the food and shit like all the preservatives and stuff like awesome, that i think yeah. that's why the females are got you know big tits at fucking 12 years yeah, old yeah. It wasn't like I'm that sure, back um, then you know, my brother would always say birth like, control, I'm, like things like that are also like that absolutely yeah, not so like much, yeah. 
Bro, there's there's females that you'll see that are like already developed and they're like eleven or twelve years old. It's scary, bro. It's, that is a it's scary, scary thing. very scary. You yeah. know, I don't to like know that any of that. I don't like any it's of that a, at all. Yeah, it doesn't sit right. Doesn't sit right because normal. you know that there's fucking menaces out there. Just give them one reason, you know, like it's, it doesn't change the fact of how old someone is just because you. That's just crazy to me, but that's another topic all in itself. Oh, but by, when we're talking about girls, by the way, you brought up something that it was funny. I, I used to date your cousin back in fucking. You well, I dated you your cousin for like a week cousin. or two. So yeah, all right. So that <laughs> me and Jesse, I think what was what was that sixth grade sixth or, or seventh, seventh grade? grade? So I already knew you for some time. We were yeah. friends, but not like close, close. Mm-hmm. But we were cool. We were you know. And one day Jesse comes up to me, eleven years old. He's like. He's like, hey, I, I need to talk to you. I'm like, what's up? He's like, I want to date your cousin. Is, is like, is that okay? I was like, absolutely. <laughs> Without a question with that. Yeah, you of all people, it. yeah, 100%. I had to ask and permission. permission. Yeah, and he asked. I, I never forgot that, and I respected you for that. Bro, I was raised. The day I met, it's like, crazy. The but day I, felt, that. I think the reason I did this is because, like, I don't know. My dad always taught me, you know, when you want to always make sure it's okay with the father. Before anything, I wasn't nobody's dad. No, but, but my eleven-year-old brain, guess, yeah, in my eleven-year-old brain, it was like he's my friend. I don't want him to think. Well, anything. no, you know, you, you had respect for me, yeah, so you're like, absolutely. listen, I, I'm I'm being real with you. And I I never forgot that yeah. as long as I live. That was hysterical because you know, she was, was very shy. Like, like two, yeah, she was very shy. She was, yeah, she, she was shy. bro. And Not you showed home. me a picture of her of what she looks like now to when she. Hasn't aged a yeah. day. She looks great. Looks amazing. Her son. She got a kid like, now. Oh, That's crazy. Her husband. Her husband. Yeah, I did. And doing, by the way, I was well. not able to pull her out of her shell, but someone did. Well, how glad. long did you date her? Like two no, weeks. Two weeks. Like, yeah, two if weeks. that. I yeah. tried. I tried. It was. Uh, it yeah, was, we weren't. Yeah, there was. I was eleven I years old. It, though, I was like eleven I said, years old. Absolutely. We were. You, still, you we ended on good terms. It was. I think that was like the only relationship I ended on good terms in my life. Probably. Probably. Crazy. You sick bastard. Am I sick motherfucker? <laughs> that is funny though. Yeah, that's One crazy, time. man. I, when you brought that up, I was like, "Holy shit!" Because I had the pool shit. party at my house, and yeah, when she was the good old yeah, days. I remember, I was like, "Can I put my arm around her?" Like, <laughs> oh my god! So it was like that. It so crazy. But now, I think kids these days are just moving along real quick. Oh, they don't do it like we like. Bro, you know? wait, they're, kids, they're running. Kids we shooting were like heroin jogging. in fucking elementary school now. That's it's fucking insanity. nuts. I didn't even know where heroin was until I was like twenty. Crazy. Really, I didn't I even mean, know we, what any well, of that we, shit we heard of it. I've in heard of it. I'm school, saying, but I've never but seen like, it. I never wow, had it in my hand until I was like fucking twenty. I had to go looking for that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. You didn't just find it. It wasn't that. Nah. Not running our schools of fuck around the halls of high school south. No imagine way. now. I can only imagine what that school is like now. And what's it going to be like in another twenty years? Because all right, you remember when we That's were in school, question. we used to have someone that was watching us at the fucking bathroom, right? You would have to go check into the bathroom. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, as, did we? I think Hall he had to passes. sign in yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Because when my brother went to school, they had to do none of that. Yeah. None of that shit was happening. You didn't have to sign out as clothes. You didn't have nothing, nothing like that. It, they, I think they left to go for uh, lunch too. <laughs> they just left the parking lot and <laughs> took their car and went to McDonald's or some bullshit and came back. Came back. I don't. Dude, we weren't allowed to do that shit. Nah. We did it, but. We still did it. Yeah, but it was, I remember. Dude, remember what was his out. name? One of those fucking security guards. He had Ron. A, no, he had a cover band. Was it Ron? It he was, was Ron. in a cover band. <laughs> he looked like a like he a bigger, ch- older Steven Bro, Seagal. Like. He chased me at. He tried to catch me so many times. Like I'd be walking to my car and he'd be sneaking behind another car. Like just why? Like, bro, I'm leaving. There's nothing. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? And. It, you didn't cross him. Like, no. I tried to, I, I was trying to be boys with him. So, like, if anything ever went down, like, Ron yeah, be on yeah, my yeah. side. Yeah. You know, but. Well, Bernie loved him because he was, they, I think he was in a cover band or some some sort. Yeah. He, I know he, if he I was asked, a rock. He looked like a rocker. He, yeah. He, he was like an he was older rocker. I know he was doing He's been through some times, that guy. High school He's style, seen some bro. things. That's crazy. I haven't been there. You know, it's weird, too. Like, when you step back in the school, like, an older school, you'll it feels smaller Always. than it was. Always. You know? I mean, I passed through. The parking lot of South because I was going into Lincroft, and I thought that exact same thing as I was passing. I was like, like Whoa. "I wonder what it's like to go in that school right now." I, it's gonna bro, be if like, you went into Thompson or Element or, or like the oh, elementary I, school, I, it I feels remember like going fucking... to South and then coming back to Thompson, being like, "Yeah, it feels." So I can't breathe small. in here. Yeah, can't. Very breathe. odd. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Weird. I guess you just think yeah. everything's bigger from a smaller perspective. Well, as a at a younger age, it yeah. is bigger. That, that and just you shows grow, you, you know, the perspective. You and... But that's honestly not that much bigger. You get nah, our perspective just, just changed just, so yeah, much. Yeah. Well, South was so much bigger than Thompson mm-hmm. too. 
But I remember the same thing happened because I went to Lincroft Elementary School. Okay. So I remember the same thing from Thompson and Lincroft. Hallways like this. Yeah. I'm like, what like, is going I wasn't on? big or anything. Lockers, I just I was like, it's small so small in here. Like, yeah. But like, if you think about it, every school keeps getting bigger. Yeah. You, you, you go to college, the school blows away Middletown South, size-wise. Forget it. Did you go, what's, what college did you go to? At first, I went to Ryder University. Oh, bro, my Peter went to Ryder. You know what? I think you told yeah, me that for, when for, I first got in there. You told me that for I think like a semester or something. Like yeah, that. He, he doesn't. Yeah. That's crazy. That's what a college degree. I left more after money a year. Most fucking yeah. Good for him. Savage. I look up to that man. I mean, every, bro, man. I look up to He's him. Gonna, always I, did. Most of my most friends of mine or people who know him or have met him before and know the backstory of him say the same thing. It's crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. and I don't even think he realizes how many people. Gets me, get me emotional, and it kind of oh, pisses me goes. off too. At the same time, because it's like, damn, bro. Like I tell you all the time, I'm, I look like I look up to you. I know my friends who don't even know much about, you know, the the back the backstory of everything. Look up to him. You get, yeah. you get what I'm saying. He doesn't. Yeah, I don't I, think he I realizes mean, how I mean. much how much is of an impact his life has made on all of us. Like of Kumar, course. Kumar started doing Wall Street I've known because Peter, of Peter. I think since I'm like 12 years old, Kumar would I'm look at Peter sure. and be like, I want everything that your brother yep. has. Yep. And so I want to do what your brother did. And yeah. that's exactly what he did. Good for him. Exactly yeah. what he did. One thing I will say about Pete. And to the, I'll say it to this day, cause it's still true. Always the nicest car on the block. Always. 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 Since the day I met the kid, I'm like, yo, you drive that? Ferrari. Like, I think he's got, how he got do the, you drive that? Got like, a Ferrari 350 it? Spider. Um, he's got an Aston Martin. He's got a Mercedes new C class. I believe might be wrong about the, the type, but I know it's a Mercedes and he's got the Land Rover. So he's got four, four whips. And then he's got a go-kart that identical to the Ferrari for his, for his daughter. He would. He you would. Know? He's, he's a savage, but yeah. he works his ass off for yeah, that shit. Yeah. You know? As you, as you And should. seeing though, it's just crazy. Like, I respect him. I love that. He, he, he was signed to Def Jam before. He's been, he's done he's been around crazy shit. Yeah, he's you been know? around. Been, yeah. you know, he's rapped for Eminem. He's done. I remember that. Yeah, he's I done a lot. telling of, me yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, done a lot of crazy shit, man. And. But if you ask me, would you want to change your life and just go have his? No, I don't think I'd be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do what he does on a daily basis yeah. and put a smile on my face for everybody. I couldn't. You got to respect him, though. I, you know, that's what like, I, I, I do so much. It's, it's just I can't. I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. He works from sun up to sundown, and and I don't think he stops when he gets home. He's still going. He's fixing stuff. He's he, he's working from home. He's dealing with his daughter. Do, he's always doing something. And you saw him. Like he's, yeah. You know, he, it takes a toll on people. That was, the first, that was the first, first time, time I saw him in, in like time. probably 10 years. Yeah, right? It was, it was like that. A long time. Yeah. And he, so he t- takes a he, toll on he, Well, he used to coach us during our Oh, life. my God. He was our baseball We were on the all-star baseball that was so team cool. back my in the mom, day. My mom and my brother he, they coached, coached us. us. <laughs> Your brother knew what he was talking about, too. Like, they were set. We pulled up in the car. Just all-star. Like and then he coached all. They got, they got him. Uh, my mom to coach the all-star team, too. That yeah. shit was awesome. That was so much fun. That was fun. That was a lot where of fun. Did we, we went to, like, where did we go? Lincroft? No. We went, like, didn't we travel? Oh, yeah. We times? traveled. Like, Man, yeah. We were doing Marlboro, mm-hmm. all that shit. Hell yeah, we were going to different townships. Everywhere. That was yeah. awesome. That the was good old days. That was a lot. The of days fun. that seemed they were lifetimes ago. Brother going out and threatening the fucking umpires and shit. You yeah, your brother screaming like, <laughs> "He was safe, you bitch." <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. He was man. on the top of his game too. Oh uh, yeah, man, that was awesome. How old were we? We must have been like six. I'm no, pretty sure we 14. were like. Tw- no. 13? 13, 13 or 12 or 13, 12 or 13 maybe. 13, yeah. yeah, it was like that. Because I know my I'm brother... pretty sure it was in middle school now that I'm thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was middle school. It must have been like seventh grade. Because my brother Anthony's his uh his stepson plays a lot of baseball. Like he's traveling and does like the little league. Yep. He's, well, he's a it. savage, apparently. Yeah, he's in it. Apparently he's a beast. Of course. But see, he's it's crazy. I think about I think about getting up and going and playing baseball right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? I'm like, yo, I would not be able to do any of that right now. If I swung a bat a couple times, right, and next day I'd be so sore. That's like, that's terrible. horrible. That's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible that we have, like I don't want to 
want to slide? Do you want real? I'm even saying you. You want to slide into third base at 33 no, years old? I wouldn't. No. no. I mean, I could. I could. Do I want like, to? Not really. No. No. My fat ass nah, definitely you know would try. I'll make but... it. I'll be safe. I don't want to hear it, bro. For a fat man, I I, I can move. I could get there. You were but was, yours I'm gonna fast. Be, exactly. Even for like for in baseball. Bitch, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I just didn't that. want to move. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know, just don't just gotta get me there. Once I'm there. I'm to the good. young fans out there, bro, it's just crazy, man. I said it's it's <laughs> don't be that way. No, no, <laughs> never, never. Just keep me? on keeping on. No, that's the way I was though. It's just like you, you, I could get thrown out of first base from right field because I wouldn't even fucking you know. I'd there smash were times, it. boom. There were times you'd get like super angry too, <laughs> and you rarely see him that ever that mad. But like there would be times like. I was fucking safe. Come on. I was fucking. I'm like, you are. Yeah. I, 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 don't I can't even deny it. I don't want yeah. to tell He'd you. He'd be pissed. And his brother, you know, oh he would God. be in there. But that's, that's why. Yeah. The yeah, dynamic. That- they like, get pissed off off each other. Like, yeah, I had him. He was safe. You I was me. safe. He was safe. I was safe. <laughs> like, screaming. Just, I'm like, all right, Jess. Come on. Bring it in. Bring oh, it in. Yeah. I, it, was, it was a good time, though, man. That was fun. I can't believe you brought that up. That's funny. Yeah, it's another one. It's another that's memory. Funny. Yeah, there was a couple of kids that played baseball too that were really fucking good that I'm surprised didn't. You know, one of them actually it's commented. Easy, one of us, one right? of them actually commented on a YouTube video. Remember Chico? Yeah, Mike Farrell. Yo, he was a savage. Yeah. Yeah, like always, I think he still he plays always, softball and stuff like that. Bro, Prob, that kid. He'll be doing it forever. That kid was a beast. Him, beast. Craig Sweeney. Craig Sweeney. Was a beast. I saw him not too long ago. What the fuck is wrong with my PlayStation? I don't know. You better figure that out. I'll just mute this bitch. Sorry, guys. Don't be muting no bitch. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, like Craig Sweeney, him, they, Craig Sweeney could fucking throw a bullseye yeah. from center field to catcher. I saw him last week. Isn't he like a cop or I'm something? Not, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I met someone in prison that was like his cousin or something. Was like, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. I'm mean, like, get the fuck out of here, Craig Sweeney. He's like, yeah, he's a cop over in X Y Z. Like, that is crazy. I'm surprised. I really thought out of all of them, like Farrell, Sweeney, and uh, Miles. But Miles was always really smart. Miles Santo. Yeah, but he's a dentist now, and like, it was either the dentist or he was gonna be fucking a, a MLB catcher or pitcher. That kid was a beast. But yeah, those three. I'm. They're still doing good though. I'm glad they're doing really well. I'm just saying. I thought. I thought out of anyone, those people could have been like MLB fucking superstars. You know, I'm sure they they would have if they yeah, really family gets in. yeah. I know your family stuff, comes you know, stuff along, gets stuff gets in the way, you know? in the way man. Hey, yeah. but the only thing they're happy. That's what I'm saying. Even we all deserve without today. that. They're happy, so that's the only it's thing that matters, matters yeah, bro. That's it's it does it. We were talking about this earlier. You don't know the person with a million dollars is still could have way more problems. Than the person that doesn't have a dollar in their pocket. Absolutely. You know, that, that is the biggest thing to me. It's sh- stress does not discriminate. No. You know, never. Does not. We all got it. We all have. We all got it. Shit's a bitch, but it's there. But, the, um, the good thing about having money, though, is that if you do have those problems, it might be a little easier to get yeah. involved in a rehab or like anything. And I just think I mean? it, it calms you. I think the anxiety is lessened when you have more yeah. money, but the depression can't go yeah, away with money. Being you poor is just another thing. Because when I on get some plate, money, like, the anxiety. Like when I get paid and all that stuff, my anxiety oh, yeah, level easy. goes down. Yeah, like, it's I'm like, easy. Life is okay, easy. Okay, I can think about some of these things. I can do this, <laughs> that, and the third. Does it handle like the problems? No, but it handles the right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, okay, I can handle it right now. But that it does not handle the 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 stress and the fucking. No matter depression. what happens, things are always going to happen. But as long as you like. As cliche as it sounds, like as long as you put your best foot forward, absolutely, I really, and that is really how it is. Like as long as, like, I see a lot of people in my life these days that are like, yeah, I love you, and like really trying to be there for each other because I think everyone knows we're just going through the world's just going through a time right now, yeah, and people are just more more willing to be loving towards one another. That's and a good I, thing. I appreciate that because, like, yo, it, it's helping all of us out. That's the good we're thing. We're all m- becoming better together, kind of thing. That's what you we know? were missing for a long time. That's the one thing about this whole woke period and all that that I'm on board with is the is the love. Like, it sounds cliche. Like, love does solve it solves everything. I don't know? even like, think that's woke. But but that's I, no. I'm I not know. saying the woke. I'm just saying that's the only thing. Like, they're all saying love everybody, everyone. Yeah, true. That's yeah, where yeah. I'm. I'm with that. 100. Yeah, percent Why not? 
be whoever you want to be, a stapler, a fucking penguin. You could be anything, as happy as you want to be. But just, yes, just, just own that shit, yeah, own, you know? Yeah. Own that. And that's all. As long as you... Take care of your responsibilities. Yeah, just, it just, just... <laughs> I don't know, man. I just think that the people who really own it, oh, like they deserve respect. You know, this so, episode's okay. called "Getting Out of Depression." <laughs> Getting out, <laughs> but we that, out. But yo, and that's Peter. Peter came up with the name too, because I, I, I did the, we did. I did the three years in prison. You know, yeah. I out of the heroin addiction. You know, you're in and out of the industry, the movie, the, the movie industry, Sweet, trying man. to. Bro, I know how that is. Tough time. You know, I'm in and out of the music industry. So he's like, bro, getting out, obviously. And I'm a big fan of the I, of the Matrix theory. You know, I'm all on to that. One of my I, favorite movies anyway. I, my it's favorite trilogy of all time. Yeah, it's up there. Matrix. I don't care. Star Wars, nothing. Matrix. All right, well, let's not get crazy. No, bro. There's a you lot. You like Star Wars? I like Star I mean, I don't think it's. I didn't think you were a Star Wars fan. I'm, I would rather. I like the Matrix more. Oh. But I like Star Wars. What's your favorite know. trilogy of all time? Favorite trilogy? Batman, probably for you, right? I don't know. The Dark Knight trilogy. Dark Knight's it's up there. Shit. That, I think I saw the Dark Knight in theaters like how many times? Twelve times, bro. I'm pretty. Every sure. time I went over your house when that movie came out, that's all we watched. Yeah. I remember sitting in the back seat of a car, and you had that in the car on the DVD player with like on the headrest where the screen is. That never happened. That hundred percent. That never happened. You're watching Dark Knight in the fucking back of a car. I remember the first time I saw that movie, I was blown away. I really was. Bro, Christopher Nolan. I had Nolan. to go back twelve times when when movie tickets really were just five dollars on a Tuesday. Nolan is one of the best of the directors best. ever. And to do after it. that, he did. He said he'll never do another superhero film. He's like. He produced can't. and like done smaller, but like he will never direct any, as he says, he'll never direct any other superhero trilogy ever again. Try back, try back in front of Mike a little bit. Oh, that's it. Well, no, you good? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I didn't want them hearing the. Bah, duh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was trying to, you know. No, but bro, you were obsessed with Batman when we were younger. I don't know why, just since a kid I was. Bro, but that was a good reason. movie to be obsessed with. Yeah, true. If there's any trilogy or superhero movie to be obsessed with, it is fucking Batman. Well, now you see Keaton's coming out eh. with. You th- is that real? I thought that was a. Uh, I thought that was fake. Are you serious? That's real. One hundred percent real. What is? What are they doing? He's in the Flash movie, so the Flash, Ezra Miller. Is going to be traveling through time and somehow gets into Michael Keaton's Batman universe. Really? Yeah, and he's like in he's he's doing a lot in the like. That just sounds crazy. I mean, twenty. How, how I know? So the last one he was in was nineteen ninety two. Wow. So <laughs> thirty years ago. Wow. It's crazy. Like, so he's playing old, like Batman. He's playing the older Batman. Okay. And honestly, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I'll watch I really, that I, I can't wait. I'll like, watch it. How'd you I feel about Pattinson doing the Batman? I liked him as Bruce Wayne. And I didn't, I didn't, I did not like him as Batman. I just thought, I don't know. I'm vice versa. That's crazy. See, I liked him as Batman. I did not like him as Bruce Wayne. I think he did a lot of Bruce Waning, if you will. Yeah, I felt like he was like this emo Bruce Wayne. Yeah, Bruce yeah, Wayne was I, like a, t- in the listen, comics, I Bruce Wayne was a uh, fucking yes, beast. That that did, maybe not in a certain time in the beginning, though. This is only like a few years into when he's Batman. So like, he he he's not he hasn't been around the block. By the time like Keaton's Batman came out in 1990, he was already like in it for a minute kind of thing. Yeah. You know? But I don't know. I didn't, I thought, I think we just look at Pattinson differently. Yeah. Ever since he was in, absolutely. You know. But that happened with Hugh Jackman. Everyone, what was Hugh Jackman's first thing before Wolverine? Like he was in like a Dawson. I forget the, the yeah, show some, was yeah. some weird Older, show, but yeah, he was yeah. not who he was now. No, and then once he took changed, the Wolverine, it was thing, over. Changed. He was. That's life. why I thought Pattinson. I was like, yeah, maybe it could be like a Hugh Jackman moment for yeah. him. But I, I don't know. I just is the he thing, making another one? Hugh Jackman? No, Pat Pattinson, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, of course. Is of there course, one? part two is already in okay. the works. Yeah, I figured. And they're coming out with, you know. What do you think of Snyder's shit? I didn't like Snyder's verse <sighs> at all. Snyder, he tried his best. I'll give him that. Man of Steel wasn't terrible. The Superman movie. He did Watchmen, right? Didn't Zack Snyder he do did Watchmen? Watchmen? And that, that was, was actually really one good of the, too. One but of my that's favorites. the reason why he got all those movies. One hundred percent because he did a fucking Watchmen. Was if you read the comic, shot. 
four shot yeah. by the comic. Yeah. It is identical. Which he is crazy. took those shots from the comic book and put them on the screen for you. Really crazy. He, he's he's talented. Don't get me wrong. But, but then he, he went nuts. He went nuts after it. He also went through, I think he lost his daughter during Justice oh, League. Oh, no. So, he, so what had happened was, well, what had happened was he left and another director came in who did the Avengers. Okay. And he kind of like had a way different view of how he wanted the end of the movie to, to be. Mm-hmm. That's why they did that so, two hour thing. And then after that, like, well, Justice League did not get good reviews, mm, you know. I didn't even watch which it yet. is the like the first time you're seeing all of these superheroes. In yeah, I will movie not together. watch that. If you watch his version that came out like a few years later, it would I think it would change your mind. Really, he did like a five hour Justice League. He had so much footage. He said that um, Josh Josh Whedon, the guy that came over from Avengers, just did not do justice to his actual film, which he can't put a five hour movie in theaters. No, never going to happen. So he just came out with it on whatever DC. Yeah. There's, there's, there's streaming. Ne- I think it was on Netflix. Yeah. Or like HBO a, you know, Max or whatever. Yeah, HBO Max. Yeah. But if you watch that, it's definitely a way different movie. Is it? Then I won't, I haven't even watched it to be honest yeah. with you. Cause I just heard so many bad things. Yeah. About it. Like I mean, the Superman versus Batman. Yeah. Shit. But how could you, you've wanted to see these, these superheroes in films since your child. I know. I, I was dying for a Batman versus Superman. I think they overdid the it with like, all these superheroes. Bro. Well, yeah. Because you know what? They, they know where the money's at. I know. It's sad. That's one of the, crazy. one of like the biggest superhero movies to come out to like re revamp the superhero verse was Spider Man with Tobey Maguire? Yeah. Oh man, those were fucking OG. phenomenal. I think I saw well, that in theaters know, like three times. Well, do you you do you know the, the reason why Sony keeps coming out with with a Spider Man movie every three every I think it's two it years? In their it's in their contract. Yeah, it's in their contract. The reason why they keep making new Spider Man movies is because they they have to. If they don't, they lose the contract. So they have to keep putting Imagine. out a Spider Man movie every two months, every two some odd years. Thing is crazy though. Sony owns the rights to Spider Man, but not the rest of the marvel verse right so you're losing it's weird so sony like has that, this that. like leverage over that's why when you saw spider-man in the avengers movie for mm-hmm. that first time was, people went thing. nuts yeah nuts, yeah. nuts. i they think, didn't think um, they would, that, that uh the companies would be able to make it happen that's another thing too the the hulk isn't under the same contract as the avengers and like the marvel verse yeah so they can't even like they're having a problem making really? like Hulk move like they, they made a, they fucked they it up a in the show beginning. but because the of the contract that they have like they can only do I don't know they, certain things they fucked it up they fucked Sucks. it up in, in the beginning because they didn't know what they were doing they sold yeah. out the rights to the yeah. ex of these superheroes all right you can make one here yep. you can make that's what they're well, doing it, with it these video games this is before like Marvel Universe so okay, yeah you know it was just like yeah another Marvel movie it wasn't like part of a whole. Like, you know, Avengers and Marvel is one whole, you know, they show of different heroes off of Avengers. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it, this is before all that, when they made the first Hulk, the second Hulk. Even yeah. though, the, you know, then they started going to, like, Iron Man came out, and that was basically starting the whole Avengers, yeah, Iron Man killed Avengers universe, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, well, that's what they're trying to do with these fucking video games, too, and it's sad, because they sold a bunch of the rights to... um certain companies to make superhero games okay and bro some of them just because there's a lot of money in these looter shooters what they call them which is like they sell they'll sell you like skins which skins are like you know there are the outfits for these people or they'll sell you the weapons and like they know that there's money in them so they're just throwing out these games that are like half-assed with just with Spider Man in there or whatever, whoever's in it, and a, I mean, it yeah, sucked. Like the, the, the Spider Man game was the Spider Man game was phenomenal. Sick. One and of my favorites. Spider Man Two there. comes out soon. Zelda just dropped what like three days ago, and I think it sold already like I think f- yeah uh, five Pe- million copies in the first up. ten yeah. days or yeah, some shit or crazy. five days. Imagine the money, bro. Involved. This shit's going crazy, and you're talking about uh the Switch too, which is like I think it's eight year old hardware too, and you're playing a fucking a game as big as Zelda that. Bro, they, the things that people are building inside of this game, because you could build certain weird shit. Yeah. The things that they're doing in the game is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I've been watching 
all these fucking TikTok videos. Of the majority of them, of I think the money besides the actual PlayStation is just the downloadable content that you mm-hmm. get, and they just keep charging you, which is well, look smart at, on their end. Look at Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, oh, bro, it. we're we waiting so ten far. years for Grand Theft Auto Six. This shit still hasn't come out yet, yeah. and they're still making money off of Grand Theft Auto Five. But you know when it comes out, it's probably going to be. They're planning. They just put out like, their financial thing for the their the next uh for the next couple of years of what they're analyzed to be their profit margins and shit like that. And they said that they're estimating the next year because I think Grand Theft Auto Six will be released within April two thousand twenty four to the end of two thousand twenty four. And they said that they plan on making upwards of eight billion dollars yeah, in revenue. I believe it. Because the amount of money that went into it, they're is at three off the charts. Three billion like, right now is what Grand Theft Auto. <sighs> Three billion. Now they're trying I to make remember it to eight. When Grand Theft Auto Three first came out, that was like, I I had that on like PlayStation, and the it was or Play, PlayStation Two, yep. one of them, PlayStation Two, and yep. just yeah, PlayStation, yep, yeah, and just that was mind blowing back then. I look at games now, I'm like, this is a movie, absolutely, this, this is a TV show no. quality, like it's crazy. Like when I got out of prison, I I. I I've been I loved video I love been loved video games for such a long time but I was getting Game Informers sent in every month when I was in prison just to keep up with what was going on right and when I got out I had a little TV flat screen TV nothing I called my brother up and talking to him and I'm like bro I'm watching these videos of these video games like this shit's crazy he's like Jesse you don't know what you're missing he's like listen I missed a couple of your birthdays. I'm sending you Xbox. He bought me an Xbox. He's like, I'm sending you it over because you got a TV. I was like, all right, I got a TV, and he gave me this one to fix it. I finally fixed it. This it thing's a nice. Peace. Yeah, if, you, if you're not uh, watching or just listening, I put up a 65 inch curved in my room. Shit, dope. The I had to fix zone. it. He he gave it to me. It was like the board was fried on it, so I had to go inside, open the TV, fix the board on That's it. It's a lot. It was a lot. And then I had a I had a um. This you saw it before was like a square. Yep. And I had to cut the square cut away so that the TV would fit inside the wood perfectly. Came and it's its nice own though. bro, it's its, its, nice its own stuff. stand. Yeah. I made it, it literally not holding up by anything, just sitting in there. It's crazy. But um <laughs> yeah, he said, Yo, you got a TV? I'm like, Yeah, I'm good. He's like, All right, I'm sending you an Xbox. He's like, You've been missing out. He sent me that shit. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Yeah. Like I know. just in three Three years, the fucking technology that changed. Listen, I remember first putting on PlayStation when I got it. It was very different. Very different. Very different. Crash Bandicoot was like the shit. And they had, I think they had like a Batman game, which sucked. Yeah, now, now like, the Batman now, games are crazy. Dude, the Arkham games will Fire. keep me occupied. I can't. My brother Sal is like, he loves video games. Oh, oh me and him will get along. For, you know him. Mm-hmm, I'd be I like, know. forever. Like, he'll. There's been times where he's like, I can't really play video games right now. It's too distracting. Yeah. And like, he's got to. Because my brother will get like 100% on the game oh, and I can't get all that. the downloadable content. I can't no. Do it. He'll spend days, if he has to, and he wants to get something done by a certain time, he'll spend days on it. Wake up, go to sleep late, wake up sort of late, play the game. For, if he's you know, on a weekend, he's nothing to do, or he just put into the game 100% on the games. Crazy. I'm like, I'll just get through the, through the mission. I don't got to get, you know, yeah, all of it. I don't need to I want another story. I'm, I'm sure for, it's awesome, but, like, I'm just trying to play the game. I'm yeah, trying to get, I'm trying the, to get the story. That's yeah. mostly, I play games for, for the story. story. If you give me an interactive movie, <laughs> like, there's these games that are made by, like, Quantic Dream, and they are literally interactive movies. You can hit the, hold the left trigger down, and it will have, like, a thought bubbles that are spinning around, and yep. you can see what they're thinking. Crazy. You'll be in a scene, have them talking back and forth to a person. You can have your character walk up to the bed and, like, lean on the bed. So, like, you're creating your own story, Bird, basically. Yeah, and yeah. then, it, like, you choose your dialogue of what you want to happen, and you play three or four different characters, and if one of them dies, they stay dead throughout the whole game. So you can which have... Which always made sense. Which you have, real. Yeah, so now you don't start over. So now you have 30, 30 to 40 different endings because multiple characters can die or yeah. stay alive. You choose different routes. So now they have these games that literally will show you a chart and then just pull out and then show you all of the different choices that you could have made and where you could have wound up. It's like a real life and you make your own fucking story. Pick your, your own, own adventure. destiny. What's better? That's like reading a book. That's why. I, and so let's like, say when I'm with a girl or something, um, usually my girlfriend's 
most of the time would not like video games in the beginning. And I'm not one of those people that play like first person shooters and sit. I don't do that. I play, like I said, it's movie games. Yeah, it's like, like story, story games. Yeah. And I try explaining to this, like, no, I don't like that type of stuff. And I was like, my ex, my, my ex, I'm like, sit down. I promise you. I put on Heavy Rain, which is like a murder mystery game. She made popcorn. She sat through that whole fucking thing. Now, the next time, I'm playing Witcher. Now, she goes, oh, you could be whoever you want to be and, like, make your own character? I'm like, yeah. She jumps on. She had over 150 hours into Witcher 3. We had I had a, uh, a TV set up on one side with Xbox. She had a TV set up on the other side of Addicted. PlayStation. And she would play video games, too. Ain't that something? Because she, I, she, didn't know, she didn't understand that video games weren't just... She thought yeah. it was just shooting and war games. If no, this play, is, you don't know. If like, you like movies and you like reading and you like stories, there's no, I think there's no better medium yeah. than video games, and especially with the VR VR shit that's coming out now too. Come out. Did you see the shit is, that I sent you earlier about the key, the stone, yeah, the keystone? That's wild. That that's shit's what we nuts. Pull up. Well, there was there's this thing I'll describe it. It's this thing that's made by Google. Um, it's called a key key. Keystone, Keystone, or Starlight, or something. Starlight, whatever. Starlight, Starline. Starline. Yeah. and um, it's this basically this computer that you sit in front of, this monitor, and it registers you in 3D and like makes a 3D. It's not a hologram, but it makes like a 3D representation of you on the on the camera for the other person, and like it puts up a fake background for you, and it literally looks like the person's in front of you. He says that if you we're sitting down. It's impossible to show you what he sees because of the camera just can't pick it up. But he said if the guy reached up and wanted to drop the apple in front of him, it looked like the apple would have landed right on the table in front of him. <laughs> and uh, that what's that kid's name? Marquise Black, MKB. The dude that did the video. It's this. this oh yeah. He yeah. does all the tech videos. Mm-hmm. That's where you look it up. You'll see it. He just posted it. I think today. Um, shit was crazy. But that's bro. They have these things too now. They're that are. There are these particles or these like little beads and they move them extremely fast and they make an image, a 3D image out of these moving little fucking beads. And it look, it's a hologram. But if you put your hand in, you, they're all, you know, it's all beads just moving at extremely fast speeds and they're wow. making up a 3D image in front of you. Imagine. It's, a, it's all that, that, uh, that CCS or whatever, the, com, the computer science uh, little fair that they have they yeah, always do yeah, that okay. shit yeah, yeah, yeah that was there like one of those things that you could make it make it holograms there's there's technology out there right now that people don't technology even know Technology is exceeding they rapidly. don't know that's out there because, rapidly just because it's not a consumer-based product yet doesn't mean that the shit's not out there oh it's i mean they've been doing they they're doing a lot there's a lot of shit that's like just, said, just about it, to be they, and i think they're t- to tell you the truth i think they're going too fast i think we've crossed that point where it's you're just doing too much too soon. Like Whoa. they're rushing into, because that's where the money is, and that's what, well, the, that's what Elon Musk. About, like, Elon Musk said that he sent out. He said he sent out a statement to all these companies saying that I think we're going too fast. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, well, think, he, he's been talking about AI. Yeah, he he's said, I think we like need that. to calm down a little bit. I yeah, think that we wrong. Like, think, well, and this is someone who who made who perfected the electric car. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, and did he do PayPal too? I had no idea. I had no he, idea he did PayPal. I, he's. In everything, I'm pretty sure at this point. I, I think he I think just he sold just, Twitter, he too. Just, yeah, someone else took over. Yeah, yeah. He sold, not sold him. He made someone the CEO. Yeah, he made someone else the CEO, which, Crazy. you know, who knows where it's going to go now. Because there, it was when he first got into Twitter, there was a huge thing going on where people were like, you know, b- bullying is back on Twitter. Like, they're, like, people were just saying whatever they want. And... He's not monitoring that. He just thinks everyone should be able to say whatever they want and like do whatever they I want. I believe that Twitter. too. So like, but there, there, people have said that there's been studies of like, you know, how different Twitter has become because it's not as watched by Elon. He's just like, yeah, whatever. And he's said- improving the, the, you know, he's suppo- what he says. Like he's improving the whole Twitter universe. Yeah, universe. He but like, said that. He even said the guys. Go, Why did you? You cut seventy to eighty percent of the company. He said, "Was there a reason that you cut that many people?" He goes, "Well, when you re- finally, when you realize that you don't need many people to take care if you just if everyone's saying what they want to say on a platform, and there's no need to Th- not that many fact checkers. Yeah, and, there's no need to yeah. dive into anyone's. It's free speech. Anyone? Why would I need people 
yeah. to like monitor the content that's being posted if it's everything's allowed to be said. He goes, I can cut most of my staff and just make it all the people that deal with the technology of Twitter. That's yeah. it. I don't have to have anyone monitor the comments. Listen, I don't have to have anyone doing that. Twitter was always the wild west of social media. Even like before when it you first came so? out. I don't really fuck with Twitter, so I don't know. When it first came out, people were saying and doing what it, people have gotten in trouble from old tweets. James Gunn got in trouble for a tweet that was like when Twitter first came came around and he said some like fucky shit and it came back. They fired him out of Guardians of the Galaxy. Who is who's this dude? James Gunn. He's he's Oh James he, Gunn, the director he, you know, of Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, he, okay. Like, oh, that's why they got him yeah. off Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, and yeah, and but then like DC hired him to make a movie and Marvel took him back. Yeah, I know. I still so saw like, all that. Where, what's the line? Like, well, what are we did, doing here? He did Suicide Squad, yeah. right? And then they were like, fuck it, we'll have you back. Yep. <laughs> they said, well, he did good on the first two Guardians, so might as well. Why not bring him see, back for the third one? Did you see the third one? The third one just came out. I did not see it. I, I just see haven't it. had the time. Yeah, I know. But I, I do want to go. I've just been. Have you heard anything about it? I've heard good reviews. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Which I, I haven't do, seen. I do, I'm not surprised because James Gunn does well. Yeah, he's a savage. Now he's, yeah. I, I think I think if he was, which he is now on the DC universe, mm-hmm. I think if he started out or with Snyder, I think it would have been way different. Well, you heard what his plan is too, right? You read the whole DC plan? Not, I mean, I've he has a couple of really cool. He ideas. has some. I've read some things. He's, I don't know everything, but like I think everything's still up in the air right now. Well, He's no, not, he 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 had a conference right, and he laid down the next like five or six years of what movies and what he plans on doing with video games yeah he says that everyone is gonna be that everyone that represents a character will represent that character from here on out like that's it that's it which for like five six years you're gonna be that like marvel marvel did it well but so if you're say whoever you're one of the superheroes say fucking robert downey jr is one of the superheroes in the movie and you make a video game about that superhero, he's got to be the voice in the video game. Imagine. That's what he's saying. He's saying yeah, everything's yeah. going to be cross-promoted. Yeah. Everything's going to be done by the same people on other sides. And he's got some good old comics that, like, real, real obscure comic books from DC yeah. that he's gonna bring picking out, ba- yeah, picking yeah, yeah. out yeah. that are really fucking cool. Like a superhero, someone that I think he has, that has <laughs> powers or that, that does something but convinces everyone else that he's a superhero and, like, but he's he's doing something, I it, bro. It's that. just there's that. a lot of really cool ideas he's got. I bet, which, you know, really know, cool ideas. He's he's starting. This is any any actors that are going to be on there could be between eight to ten year movie deals. Yeah, I know. Over, and like, and why not? That's crazy. They're going to have them all, which they were trying to do with with Marvel. Jack Snyder was trying to do that with DC. Oh, really? Yeah, like he was, tr- but. There was a few things that he did, like Batman was way older than Superman, so now Ben Affleck can only be in the movies until however old he's older. Yeah. He's not. You need if you're gonna restart a story like that. Yeah, you better start from. You better top. like these. You better have twenty. Batman better be twenty five. Yeah, and now you have another like. 15 years where he can still play Batman and grow. And then you could come back to him and he's like, old as just shit. Just like Robert Downey Jr. And, or and like, like what they're doing with Batman well. with Keaton. Now they're coming back with Keaton all Absolutely. of a sudden. Well, see, but you know what? I think Batman now is just too saturated. Because now you have... It's like Spider-Man. You, you have the, the Pattinson version. Yeah. You have Ben Affleck, who's going to be in the new movie, with Keaton, which is great that they're bringing him back, but now... Affleck is not going to be they, Batman that much longer. They're restarting DC. They're going to. What hire are they some, doing then? Are they compl- are they saying it's like a timeline change or something? Like what are they I, giving it? I don't know. I don't know where they're going. Like well, I mean, no, they they they're just restarting the storyline because I know it has in, nothing to do with Zack Snyder. Well, the thing is, though, what I don't understand though is is there three different? So there's three different Batmans basically at this That's point. It. Well. Yeah, three different ones. Which now there's about to be a fourth one because their DC is restarting their whole thing. That's ridiculous. I'm telling you, it's it's craziness, and they've not even bringing in patents and, you know what I mean. So like, yeah. at least combined store or like it's it's just to, to see this many like Batman over the last ten years. Yeah, not, it's just, it's no. too much for a diehard Batman fan. Like it's just too much for yeah. me at least. You know, yeah, and much. I know a lot of people feel the same way. 
All right. Well, anyway. listen, we're going to be back next week. want to call it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for Headlight Harness. You. Sponsors Headlight Harness. Check out headlightharness.com. Right. 999, 999 Carbon. carbon. Um, we thank our Patreon supporters. Who is the new one? We have Gina and uh, Marlena. Marlena. Thank Marlena. you guys so much. Thank you. Are the producers helping us keep this show going? Um, but yeah, support us on Patreon. Leave comments. Uh, we love you guys. We'll be back next week. Getting out. I'm Jesse. See ya. Peace.